Well, it's been an important day as far as the rollout of vaccines in the country is concerned. The government has, some would suggest, belatedly allowed all the, the major vaccines which have thus far not been allowed in India to actually come in should they so desire, as long as they've been approved um, in Japan or in Europe or in the United Kingdom or in the United States. This would mean that Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson um, uh, and a few other important vaccines can actually come to India. When that's going to happen, we don't know that. But what is clear is that the Sputnik vaccine has been cleared for use in India. They've got tie-ups over here with Indian manufacturers. And that process of rolling out Sputnik will start soon. Joining us now, uh, Dr. Kirill Dmitriev the, of the Russian Development Investment Fund. That's uh, what is uh, marketing uh, the Sputnik vaccine all across uh, the world. Thanks very much for being with us. Uh, sir, the big question, when will people uh, in India actually see the rollout of this vaccine? So we believe that the first doses will be delivered either end of April or maybe more realistically early May. Uh, but definitely in May, uh, India will be receiving the doses. And uh, as you know, we also have five great manufacturers in India who will be producing doses as well. So we see that May is the time when uh, Sputnik will be launched in India. But of course, it will take a couple of months to really ramp up production capacity. So we believe by June, we will really be at very good production capacity in India and will become a very meaningful uh, player in vaccination program in India. And before that, we will be supplying doses but definitely will be much smaller uh, in uh, market share uh, versus the existing great Indian vaccines that you have. Dr. Dimitriev, so how many doses are you going to start with in terms of bringing them to India and how many doses do you intend to get to? Yeah, so uh, at the end uh, of uh, ramp up, uh, India will be manufacturing, you know, tens of millions of Sputnik a month. So we uh, expect the monthly production volumes in India to actually exceed 50 million doses a month, uh, you know, in the summer. Now, to get there, we are working on amounts that will only finalize after the final approval comes, because we need to really prioritize uh, the countries that gave us approval already. So right now, we expect that we will definitely have some doses ready for Indian market in May. This will not be, you know, a huge uh, number. This will be something to get us started, but then eventually we will go to 50 plus million doses uh, a month in India of Sputnik vaccine. So would it be fair to say that everything, if it goes to plan, then by June you would be at the 50 million doses a month mark? June or July, you know, we are ramping it up, but definitely in the summer. And we also have a couple of additional agreements with a couple of other large manufacturers in India. So if those come online, you know, we could have capacity of 100 million a month. But once again, we're in the process of securing this and working very diligently. And once again, we really have applauded Prime Minister Modi and the government and private sector of India that really built those great uh, vaccine production capacities, which is India is really number one now in the world in terms of capacity to produce vaccines for the world. And would the initial lot of vaccines which will be sent uh, out to India, will these be made in India or are these in fact going to be imported, which would make them possibly uh, some of the first, if not the first imported vaccines in India? Yeah, we're still working on the final combination. I think we can send some vaccines from some other countries, but uh, basically this will be just for the first uh, couple of months. I think India will really become the production hub of Sputnik, uh, serving India and other markets. Uh, and once again, many countries will be waiting for that vaccine produced in India because, you know, Sputnik has efficacy of more than 90 percent. It has really exceptional safety track record, uh, not only in Russia, but also in Argentina and Mexico, where it has been used. So basically, we are really we use Sputnik V as a Indian Russian vaccine and will ramp up production in India very quickly. Have you reached a price agreement by which you will sell to the government of India? Uh, we are still in the process of discussions. We understand that there are some price control uh, elements to what Indian government has, and there are some ideas of having 
a different price in the private market versus government contract. So this is still subject to discussions that we are undertaking. I'm sure we'll find a solution. And by the way, Indian government has been really great to work with. We really overcame many uh, of the uh, issues that had to be solved. So we have no doubt that we will find a good solution. Would you be able to price Sputnik at what AstraZeneca uh, or Covishield, as we know it, uh, uh, costs over here? That's approximately $2 a dose to the government of India. Well, uh, again, we'll see realistically AstraZeneca, your other vaccine, and Sputnik are some of the most affordable vaccines in the world. If you look at all of the other vaccines, they cost double or triple uh, the price. Uh, yes. Still, I think Sputnik, um, you know, uh, in other markets, it's more expensive than AstraZeneca's vaccine. And uh, I'm not sure that we can get exactly to, to that pricing, uh, given our production um, process. So again, we're in discussions with the government. I think the whole goal is not to really make, uh, you know, huge return on investments. Of course, we want to return our capital, but the whole goal is to really be a solution to the world that so much uh, needs the vaccines. So are you, uh, so you are selling, in fact, at $10 a dose uh, internationally, as I understand it, uh, that's on an average to many countries. What you would charge over here in India would be less than that, right? Well, again, let's have discussions with the Indian government. So far, the pricing has been exactly the same for all of the countries. So right. all of the countries in Africa, in Asia, in Middle East, the pricing of Sputnik has been the same. And uh, we will just see how uh, we can find a solution uh, with the Indian government. You know, the uh, vaccine is one of the most affordable in the world, and we will see how we can do it in India. So tell us a little bit about the global acceptance of, Sput uh, of Sputnik. How many countries have accepted Sputnik? Um, and how come the World Health Organization, uh, you know, it's, it's still in the list, but it's not been cleared by the WHO? So we already had 59 registrations before India. So India will become the 60th country. And with India, we will have uh, more than 3 billion people living in countries that uh, registered as emergency authorization Sputnik V. And we see great effects that Sputnik V is having not only in Russia, but on many other nations. So Argentina released data which shows that people who received two shots of Sputnik, they only 0.15% of them had light COVID, no severe COVID, really no symptoms, and very good safety record. Mexico released data that Sputnik is, uh, frankly, you know, the best vaccine from the safety perspective, if you look at the reported uh, side effects that other vaccines have. So we really have been uh, very successful in countries where Sputnik is used. It is because it's based on a safe human adenoviral platform that has been tested for decades. You know, as we discussed, it's uh, quite affordable, and then it's easier to transport because it's plus two, plus eight and it has efficacy of more than 90%. So a combination of those factors make it a very compelling uh, proposition to different countries in the world. So now I've, I've read the Lancet report, which says, uh, you know, the efficacy is very high. But again, where does the World Health Organization stand on Sputnik right now? So World Health Organization is reviewing uh, all of the uh, manufacturing capacity we have and I think they're coming with an inspection I think in the next couple of weeks so we have no doubt the WHO will approve Sputnik you know in the next couple of months but frankly for us it's much less relevant because we're already working with 59 other nations right. that already approved Sputnik so for us it's just sort of a check mark will do uh, but the key thing for us is to ramp up production uh, including production in India and continue uh, saving lives with Sputnik in India and in other places. So one or two more questions. First, the importance uh, of this vaccine is also easy transportability. You can transport it not necessarily in a liquid form, but also in a powdered form. So tell us about that because it's significant in a country as hot as India. Yes, exactly. So the original formulation we had uh, had to have temperature of minus 18, but then we proved stability of this liquid formulation at plus two, plus eight for two months. So basically we will have plus two, plus eight degrees, which is regular refrigerator last mile solution in India.
But in addition, we have what's called lyophilized dry form mm. that can be stored in, you know, dry form for six and more months. So this will also be, I think, a part of the solution for particularly remote areas uh, in the world. So we definitely are much better than some of the vaccines that require very significant investment in full chain infrastructure. And we believe that uh, current Indian vaccines are also great because they really put logistics at the core of the solution. And that is very important. And by the way, we intend to work in partnership with existing vaccine manufacturers in India. We believe they have great vaccines and we will be just a part of the comprehensive Indian vaccine solution. So what is the efficacy against mutant strains or different strains? Now, we probably have a different strain or a variation, call it what you will, in India at the moment, which is much more uh, transmissible. The clinical evidence is clear. Uh, will Sputnik work effectively against this? So we have shown that uh, we have the same efficacy against British strain as against the original virus. And we have shown the same efficacy against many of the strains. Now, we believe that the efficacy against South Africa strain may be a little bit lower, but still protecting people from severe cases of COVID. And the reason we are so confident on mutations is that Sputnik is the only vaccine in the world that uses two different shots of the vaccine. So basically, as a result of having two different shots, we believe we produce higher immune response that lasts longer. And basically, we have a vaccine cocktail with having two different shots. So this vaccine cocktail proves to work very effectively against mutations, but also very soon uh, will uh, have a modification that will include all of the existing mutations uh, in the Sputnik V vaccine. And this will come out in the next couple of months. So we are very cognizant of mutations. We believe we have one of the best solutions against mutations and it will only become stronger going forward. So a last question to you, how big were the trials in India uh, and how significant were, were they? Did the India trials result in um, an efficacy data or a set of data which matched what uh, you achieved elsewhere? So trials in India were uh, very significant for us. You know, uh, they involved more than 1,000 people and they showed very high uh, immunogenity and very high safety in India. And it's very important to us that this decision by the expert committee is taken also based on this Indian data. And they have seen vaccine functions themselves, and they have seen really exceptional results that vaccine produces. So I think this is particularly important for us that uh, Indian data and phase three have been used and produced really stellar results that expert committee used to basically recommend the approval of Sputnik V vaccine in India. All right, Dr. Dimitriev, uh, great speaking to you. It is a big day for India, and hopefully we can get those vaccines in this country as soon as possible.